Hello, I'm Mark Andrus, the Episcopal Bishop of the Diocese of California, and it is my great honor and pleasure to welcome you to this performance of the American Bach soloist Handel's Messiah. I want to say a little bit about Grace Cathedral. Grace Cathedral looks like a Gothic cathedral. It's the bones, kind of a postmodern take on Notre Dame in Paris. If you take off all the statues on the facade and the sides of Notre Dame, you have Grace Cathedral, except we're made out of poured concrete uh, to take uh, cognizance of the fact that we're in earthquake country. And like all the great cathedrals of the world, like its progenitor, Notre Dame, Grace Cathedral is a home of the arts, and in fact is a work of art in and of itself. Ingmar Bergman, in his beautiful introduction to his movie, The Seventh Seal, talks about the creation of cathedrals in the Gothic period and how they were total works of art by many, many great artists and craftsmen who created them anonymously. Around the year 1500, and we could date it 1500, that began to change. A great, one of the world's great artists, uh, Albert Durer, painted a self-portrait, and it was the first actual self-portrait of an artist not placing himself in another scene, in another larger picture as a character in the scene, but it is instead a full-on portrait of Albert Durer identified as such, and if anyone had seen famous icons of the time, they would have recognized it as the icon not made with hands, a, an image of Christ. So this very bold move uh, by this artist was to say, I am a Christ bearer, I'm a person of importance in my own right and as a Christian. From that time on, artists have become more and more leaders of our culture and very much intrinsic to the meaning of who we are as a people. They interpret the world to us. Grace Cathedral, like many great churches and cathedrals, is home to some fantastic, beautiful, meaningful art. The oldest piece and the oldest acquired piece, uh, one and the same, is an altar piece from Antwerp in the Chapel of Grace. That means it's behind the altar. It's a carved wooden piece from 1520 uh, created in Antwerp and a gift of the Crocker family, whose homes were here where Grace Cathedral and the Chapter House and the other buildings on this block are now. It was a gift of their family to the Diocese of California after the 1906 earthquake and fire. Moving forward in time, uh, rapidly and kind of jarringly, all the way to the front of the cathedral and to the right in the AIDS Interfaith Memorial Chapel, you'll find the transcendently beautiful altarpiece, another altarpiece by Keith Haring, the New York artist who is being celebrated currently at the DeYoung Museum. This altarpiece was created only weeks before Keith Haring died of AIDS and is a permanent loan from Yoko Ono to Grace Cathedral. When you come into the cathedral to hear and see Messiah this year from the American Bach soloist, you will see something that people in decades past have never seen before, a stunning current work of art by installation artist Ann Patterson, who was one of our artists in residence here at Grace Cathedral. 20 miles of silk ribbons keyed to the colors of this great stained glass windows, particularly the reds and the pinks and the blues, stream from the ceiling and move with the subtle movements of the air, creating new patterns all the time. On these ribbons, which you cannot see, uh, are prayers that were written by children here at the Cathedral School for Boys and by staff members, lay and ordained uh, priests and deacons here at the cathedral and people here in diocesan house and other people in the wider community. And they stretch from just above your head all the way up into the rafters of the cathedral. So during Messiah, you will see the subtle movements of the ribbons and the light playing through them. And uh, I think it'll add to the experience. Perhaps you know another Gothic structure in Paris, uh, Saint-Chapelle. Uh, Saint-Chapelle was created for King Louis, Saint-Louis, a Gothic period king and saint, and it was his private chapel. It's large for a private chapel, 
But the, uh, the glory of it is that the weight was relieved from the stone walls so that you have 60 foot stained glass windows. And when you stand in the middle of that chapel, you realize that what is being irradiated by the sun's light and turned into colored light and streaming to you are stories, stories from the Bible. And they were meant to inspire the king, to make him a better person, a better Christian, a better ruler. Uh, we live in a very different time. It's not a private chapel that we're going into. It's a house of prayer for all people. Everyone is welcome here, and everyone, regardless of how much money they have or education or even knowledge about this music, is welcomed. And we'll be hearing these sacred texts interpreted through Handel's glorious music as a gift to you. Something to say about Messiah itself. Uh, it is considered the most performed work of classical music ever and currently in the world. More times, more places, more styles, over more years, more people uh, participating in Messiah than any other work of art. It's worth thinking, why is that? It, it is sublimely beautiful, um, but there are many sublimely beautiful uh, pieces of music. I don't think there's an easy explanation for this, but to me, something about it is the marriage of the text, which all comes from the Old and New Testaments of the Bible, and the music, uh, which were seamlessly uh, put together. You're going to be hearing it performed by a superlative musical group, the American Bach soloists. Uh, unlike the Messiah I first heard on vinyl as a little boy in East Tennessee, which was the London Symphony uh, orchestra performing with a, an enormous chorus. Uh, this is a very, very different performance. It is completely in harmony, that is blended, but completely articulated. You will hear period instruments or instruments that are copies of period instruments played by the most superb musicians who can each take the genius of Jeffrey Thomas, the director, who understands this music so deeply and they can bring it to life under his direction. It will be a very, very special performance for you today. So I welcome you to Grace Cathedral and to this performance of the American box soloist, Messiah.